Hello viewers, I'm SB and welcome back to Songs of Conquest. Uh, we're today, we're doing, we're doing something new, we're stepping into something new, and I think we're going to leave it on Worthy. I did lose an army in the last one, so, and obviously like I lost that army to being bad at the game, but I'm still bad at the game, so let's leave it here. Ashburn was restored, I remember that, and now the beleaguered Baroness faces a difficult decision. Lady Hammond and her forces are expected to land in the east, but Paradine, warden of the western provinces, has sent a request for aid against a Fey uprising. Cecilia has sent Vilia to the east, we're going west, and we're just going to kill everybody we meet, and we're going to threaten them and yell at them a lot, because that seems to kind of be our whole deal, Cecilia's entire situation. I kind of get what they're doing with the, like, you know, you put the you put the humans up front, but then you make the the human lead character really unlikable and so it's like ah you're not entirely supposed to identify with the humans and then when you play as the other factions i guess the idea is it will have opened you up to identifying with them but i think people are able to to bridge that gap on their own i don't necessarily think you gotta start with the humans anyway cecilia raced through the woods that border the tender wild to reach paradine and the citizens of the western province the threat of this fey leader, Stormspire, and their foul creatures had spread from Barkspur in the north, through the area around Thordcliff, and now to the peaceful farmlands of Hazelpoint and Windshade. But what could have incited the fey to leave the Tenderwild? Paradine, I came as quickly as I could. How fared the settlements? Where and when did the attack start? <laughs> Lady Cecilia, what a relief. How fare the settlements, you ask? Poorly. But the woods are even worse. There's some sort of corruption or blight affecting the forests, and it's spreading. Well, what does this have to do with the Fey attacks? Oh, well, they very well could be. Hmm, okay, all right. I feel, <laughs> feel like there's a, some editing issues in there somewhere. I'm still trying to work it all out, but I can't find the source. See, the first attack happened as the corruption started to spread, but then Fey attacked elsewhere. It's all very confusing. Paradine's a simple man. Well, what about this Stormspire in your message? This is not the first time I've heard her name. Where is she now? She's everywhere. I received a message for aid at Windshade, but I'd no sooner arrived and there was a call, from, uh, a call for aid from Hazelpoint and another from Mapledowns. I'm sorry, Cecilia. I had to send for you. It's just too much for me alone. Uh, you did the right thing, Paradine. We've encountered the Fae in Flint Hills and the undead near Thorncliff. We must assume this is an organized action by the Fae. Oh, do you, do you think so? I can't believe the Fae would do something like that. Well, it's not like the stories at all. Mm, if I could go back and research that corruption. You know how Cecilia is going to take that. No, 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 no. No time for thinking about stuff. We got to go do all the violence. Uh, there will be time for your research when our people are safe. There will be time for thinking about this after everyone's dead. All right. Let's interact with some objects around the map. You know how we love a bubbling bog. Plenty of wood has bubbled to the surface. I guess that's something. A little bit of XP. So are we back? I assume we're back at a fairly low level here. I will absolutely take some rangers. Uh, no, we maintain we maintain level eight. So I guess right, we're, we're gonna continue carrying progress forward from mission to mission. I appreciate that. It's been a little while since I played a game that didn't, where it wasn't like, like it, it sounds kind of silly for me to be like, oh, we're going to carry the campaign forward, uh, progress forward, like it's a surprise. And I know that used to be like the default all the time, right? But it's actually been a while since I played a game where the missions weren't meant to feel real self-contained and essentially you're starting at the beginning in each of them. All right, we got some, we got some risen dead here. They're bound or whatever. What is this oath of yours? Bound by oath. Bound to conquer. Okay, a roar of oath bound. That's pretty slick. That is a cool collective noun. Let's get in here and shoot the hell out of them. Unfortunately, they're um They're probably a little bit too fast for us to kite them, which is what you usually would would seek to do with undead. Well, you know, actually they're not moving very fast at all, are they? I might just hang out right here, honestly. 
Uh, you have decent range and pretty good high ground. I don't know that I want to step off the high ground, honestly. I think we'll just take the shot we got. Uh, you do have to move up a little bit. And in fact, you can't even move up enough to get a shot. Well, whatever. I'll move up to here and I'll at least be in the way of the, uh, the archers. Now, of course, this game has that, like, planted foot mechanic for the archers, uh, so that kiting is, is inefficient as a strategy. I wish there was a, late, a way to delay a little bit, because I would really love for our footmen to go after this guy was dead, take over this spot, but if I run there right now, I'm going to eat a, um, I'm going to eat the attack of opportunity. They have a retaliation, I assume. Yeah, like. Uh... All right, let me let me increase my defense. I guess you know. Rally time, and then we'll take the swing. Okay, didn't actually lose anybody. Pretty great. So I'm gonna finish him with the archers, and then we'll get. Yeah, we'll get some decent damage with these guys. Do I want to run up a little bit first? At least if I run up any closer, I'm offering myself up uh, for damage. Yeah. Yeah, having to sacrifice the uh, the high ground is a little bit of a shame. I Do I want to attack with the footmen? Because we could just... The archers aren't going to finish the job. I guess we're taking the retaliation no, no matter what. The question is just where do I want to take it? And I guess it's better here than elsewhere. Let's nuke their damage, though, at the very least, so that we can, um... Yeah, there we go. See, all of a sudden, this is quiet. I feel like every every sound in the game has its own individual audio level that it comes in at. I'm, like, riding the sliders constantly. All right, well, we've opened up some ancient ruins and whatnot. As the stout heart troops approached the small hamlet of Hazel Point, the peasants emerged from their huts and cheered. A scout in Loth colors elbowed her way to the front. Wielder, Roderick of Loth sends his regards. He would like to meet you with you to discuss the, uh, the yearly tribute from Loth. But Fay and Undead block his path. He awaits you in Oakhaven to the southwest. Thank you. Tell him I shall come to Oaf Oakhaven when I am able. And Scout, remind him that Stoutheart will expect the tribute and not just discussion. Yep, she's not interested in, like, perfectly sensible reasons that it might be literally impossible to get the money through uh, whatever blockades have been set up. She just wants her money. Uh, Y'all can also benefit from the road sign. Actually, it looks like they can hit the ancient ruins as well. I mean, a thousand XP seems very significant. Okay, we can't actually interact with it until next turn. So, we have ourselves a small settlement here. I feel like we should level that up, probably. So, can we just build the same stuff as before? Alright, well, obviously I'd prefer to do this. We're gonna pick up some more stone... Do I want to build a quarry, though, is the question. It's like, we know that we need a peasant hut um, for some of the other buildings. And also, it's just nice to have. Militia actually turned out to be a very valuable unit. Yeah, let's throw let's throw one of those down. And then, like, do I want to set up an... Well, I guess we have to wait until next turn to answer that question anyway. Do I want to set up income buildings? Maybe. We'll see. At this spring, Empress Aurelia welcomed the people of the Western Province to swear the oath of fealty and be welcome into the bosom of the Empire. May her rule be long and peace be everlasting. Look at how adorable the little pigs are. I know I keep saying this, but it just keeps being true. I really love the art. It's very, very good. Alright, you get some bonus movements. I think we're just taking um, Cecilia up there. We got some ravaging rats, a thunder of rats. 
yo, I have, listen, I have owned, actually, you know what? I don't think we're going to be able to do this. Withdraw. Don't fight that. You need troops, buddy. Yeah, we gotta, we gotta, <laughs> we gotta get a barracks going, like, immediately. Um, I, I have, I have owned rats. I have spent time in the company of a largest number of rats on occasion. Uh, I don't, thunder doesn't seem right to me. A skittering, a desperate, terrified skittering. Something more in the right neighborhood. Yeah, I think that's reasonable. We'll get you some, get you some better magic and stuff too. And I guess let's go and, uh, wait, ah, shoot. I didn't really want her to walk all the way down here. I wanted her to interact with it from this side for obvious reasons. These skeletons were different. They wore the tattered remnants of the ancient Aurelian Legion, and the way they stood suggested they remembered some of their training. Bound by oath, bound to her. Noble legionnaires, why have you returned to haunt Arleon? This is the most sensible she's been to anyone the whole time. It turns out they're uh, bound by their oath to, to conquer and whatnot. But these are lands you once protected. We have returned for her, bound to conquer. Okay, well, I will show you the error of your ways, I guess, if you insist. So the question is, do I like? Do you want to try to push mid? I actually think maybe we'll start down here. We'll push for this. We'll try to get control of this uh, little patch of high ground. Give our archers the bonus damage to do what they need to do. So let's see, you have five movement. Okay, yeah, we should be able to pull that off. So I guess you just like run up and get ready to play defense. Actually, should I? I should have given them another space. Yeah, that was probably a mistake. Because now the archers are definitely going to get meleeed if I run up there. All right, maybe let's, it would be cool to take it, but let's just move, we'll roll slow here. I'm gonna be honest with you, I clicked a little too fast there and I thought it was, I thought it was saying it would do 14 to 19 kills, but it was 14 to 19 total damage, killing effectively nobody. These, uh, these skeletons are definitely a little tougher. I hate to be boring, but Rally is just like really good. Wow, that was a lot of dead. Holy shit, that was a lot of dead. I am a little concerned. Uh, all right. I really don't think Fury is the place we want to be in. So I li I like the fact that this is no this is marked as stacking. I wonder if it is the case that generally spells are not stacking. So it has to, it has to be specifically called out because it's because it's a cool unusual thing. Yeah, this is going to be a nightmare. But I guess we're probably dead either way. We may as well deal some damage. Whew, yeah. Uh, this is... Is there a way to withdraw now? Can I can I flee the battlefield like a coward? Because I am... Uh, I am definitely losing in a very serious fashion. All right, um, let's say we can probably clear this attacker, right? Oh no, sorry, that's for, again, four to seven damage, not four to seven kills. There's only one guy left in the stack. 
Yeah, uh, we're in some trouble. None of these buttons are a flea button. And we know how the spells run. It's not a thing I need a tutorial on. Uh, okay, well. I guess we are losing the battle. And then presumably, like, getting rewound to the start of the scenario or something. Because, like, Cecilia cannot die is a pretty important part of our objectives, if I remember correctly. Yeah, these guys are not kidding. These are these are very serious enemies. Okay, yep. Let's uh is it is it auto saving? It's auto saving pretty aggressively. Okay. All right, well, let's do a different thing than that. So let's see here. We know you're gonna pick up some riches. We know you're not gonna engage with those, those rats for they are too mighty, too mighty for you. We're gonna build a barracks and we're maybe gonna chill the fuck out <laughs> for just a little while. Let's run around here claiming riches and stuff. Yeah, we need troops. We need troops for sure. Okay. Uh... So, okay, that bonus lasts the battle. That's worth picking up now for sure. Uh, the rats. Cecilia can probably fight the rats, would be my guess. Stop off here and grab some more troops. And then, yeah, let's see about this. This feels very doable. I'm gonna just quick battle that, actually. That's probably in the neighborhood of what would have happened. Okay, so do I want another troop slot in my army? I think I probably do. A big boost to the melee output of those troops is not, I think, um, to the melee output, melee offense of her units is not such a big deal because I think relatively few of her units are going to be melee anyway. Well, I guess, like, the, the militia are on the second attack. I don't know. Whatever. It's I think I still think I took the right thing there. Which is we really gotta build up. Uh we really gotta build up our stuff. So the build queue is still full, and I don't know that we have a lot else to do. There are plague rats mixed in with this one, which makes the this is a tougher party of enemies than we had before. But if we do slay them, it does let us, um, it does give us access to some stuff. Hey, could you come over here and swap me your units, please? Oh, you know what? If you have to keep a body, probably it's best it be a, uh, a militia, or a, a one of these, right? Alright, we're just going to make that as easy as possible. Let's go see if we can push through these. I'll do it manually. Hopefully get a slightly better outcome. Although, honestly, it's not that, like, the options available to, uh, available to us here are not that complex. So these are the plague rats. When damaged, they gain damage but lose defense. And they're venomous. They're venomous rats. That's pretty fucked. I think it probably doesn't matter too much. I mean, it's not worth moving up, I think. 
Let's try to start on the smaller, uh, the weaker enemies. It's a little annoying. I think we're probably... All right, do your best to not be fearful. All right, well, we got all the non-plague stacks down to pretty, pretty low weak amounts. So I'm feeling good about that. Uh, you know, I just don't see you getting any kills here. I'm going to cast Rally, but you're good, actually. There we go. That honestly was a very low impact battle. It makes me think I probably I might have been able to do better than the, uh, the quick resolve around that other one. All right, let's secure some of these outbuildings. Uh, I will absolutely take on 13 militia. That that rules. Thank you. Found some glimmer weave up here. A blacksmith who can maybe make something of interest for us. And you. I guess you should also visit the shrine. All right, got our barracks. We definitely want rangers to be available here. We do not have a ton of cash income this time around. We're, we're making far, far less than we were last time. Okay, got ourselves a crossbow. 15 ranged offense, as, a, as opposed to what we were wielding a general 10 offense sword before um hmm i mean there are a lot of ranged units in this army obviously yeah i guess we'll hold on to it and obviously we can trade some stuff out here in a second right, what's going on with this cairn one offense and one defense So these guys, they, they look like they have more gear on. If I walk to here, can I get a sense? Okay, it's just it's just the normal skeletons. We can handle that. Foul beings, be gone from these lands or you will be destroyed. Yep, and they're bound. Okay. Her, Stormspire, tell me what she wants before I put you back in your graves. And they have nothing to say. Shockingly, interviewing the skeletons turns out not to be much of a strategy. This is going to be a little ugly. Fortunately, I think there's a decent chance we're going to be able to just ventilate a couple of these groups of skeletons before they even get a chance to do anything. Don't really want to run forward and attack. These two can't reach the high ground anyway. Yeah, I guess just like hang out here, be in the way. Definitely want to take up the high ground. Uh, you might actually want to withdraw. <laughs> Just bravely flee while playing your uh, playing your loot there. Okay, that was lucky. And I am absolutely not attacking. We are taking all of this extra ranged offense. We are. Five damage and minus initiative. No, I guess we'll take we'll just take the maximum damage. Take that. Your non-existent blood. It is a boil. Stand in the way of everything, I suppose. Oh, Insect Swarm uses a different kind of essence. We can do both. There we go. That's how you want that to go down. And then there's just bubbling blood all over the ground and nobody has any idea where it came from. Right, 
This will get us back on mine next turn, I guess. What a moment to run out of movement. Can you get down here and reclaim this mine for us, please? There we go. I knew we had you around here for a reason. I just want you to walk down there. Okay. So he should probably head back to town. Definitely want to grab some artifacts over here. But I guess, actually, before we send him back home, let's let's gear him up. Right? We definitely have lots of spare, a lot of spare loot here. Oh uh, yeah, here's a hat. I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna continue to ride just like pure offense. Kill the enemies before they kill you. We could do plus five with an additional plus ten ranged. You know what? I think I do like that better. Yeah, it's kind of funny because we're still getting the 15 ranged offense that this gives, but actually this is like, this is slightly more effectiveness overall. I think I'm going to go ahead and keep it and we'll, we'll let her keep the crossbow. Uh, we don't want all of our effectiveness to be focused up too much. Okay, so this is definitely our second best one of these. And then I don't have gloves for you, unfortunately, but... You'll live, I'm sure. All right. Behooves us to lay claim to all of these income generating buildings as quickly as possible. And you can head back to town and start picking stuff up. Uh, we also need to figure out what we want to build here. So we can build a minstrel building we could build some income structures. I don't think a guard tower is likely to be terribly useful. Honestly, maybe we just do a farm. Our gold income is actually still quite poor, so. Yeah. All right, you need to come back to here. And we'll deal with, the, we'll have um, him deal with the Fae once, once his army is built up a little bit. Well, I'll just wait and hire people next turn. All right, so give me this. We actually don't have the money to do all the hiring just yet. Hold on, she might be able to help with this. Um, I should probably take on the minstrels. There's just like loose gold laying around. Hmm. Uh, you know, the tier two versions of spells seem like such a power gain. And we're already having trouble filling out the army. Hopefully I won't end up regretting that. So, okay, that was very slightly better than our pre-existing armor. We did not pick up very much money. It's enough to let me finish hiring all these footmen, I guess. This obelisk grants vigor beyond belief. Ooh, but permanent movement bonus is actually really nice. Um, hmm. so we don't have ancient amber income right now, but there is a an ancient amber source, I think. Then again, we're likely to just hit the XP cap on this map, right? Uh, we'll take the amber for now, I guess. A hush of wonder fell among those who surveyed these majestic trees. Their lush canopy filtered the light, so shadows danced across the ancient forest floor and roots rose to trip the unwary. These were the old woods of Arleon. 
Okay, and not necessarily a place that I need to have Cecilia deal with, because like I said, we can, I'm sure, have this problem solved by the other dudes. So maybe I just want to turn around at this point. It was good to grab all that gold, though. All right, let's see about the other income sources out here. You're just gonna keep keep them mounting up. All right, we'll grab some more, we'll grab some income. The small settlement of Crow Point had never grown very big. Sitting right on the border between the Barony of Loth and the Barony of Stoutheart, it had been the subject of many border, border wars. Wielder Cecilia Stoutheart, it's a relief to see you. These are strange and dark times. Indeed it is. Report. <laughs> She's blowing off the second half of a sentence. She's like, yes, it is a relief to see me. You're correct. Well, it started some weeks ago. There were sounds of fighting and a terrible explosion from within the Tenderwild. We armed ourselves and kept a close watch. And what did you see? Well, the Fae began to appear and monsters we'd never seen or heard of. The Fae began to appear and monsters we'd never seen or heard of. A little, little odd. I accented that a little oddly the first time. Great shambling piles of bones that seemed melded together. We hid behind our walls and have been too afraid to send to Oakhaven for aid. Well, we're on our way to Oakhaven and we'll send reinforcements. For now, you can breathe easy. You're under our protection. Stoutheart will stand. As long as I don't, you know, get a little overzealous and fight some skeletons that I really shouldn't be fighting yet. All right, a little bit more money each round and we certainly need it. Yeah, this is this is worthy a worthy spend. The extra income will be very important. So, I mean, do I want to make this like a trading post? Because with a rally point, we could hire troops from the the main buildings. But obviously, if we build more recruitment buildings here, we're recruiting a larger number of troops per turn, which is nice. I think I am going to do this, though. I'm going to make this a rally point, and we're going to build a marketplace, because we've never built one before, and it would be neat to see how they work. Yep. So I guess around toward the gate you go. Not going to be able to really do any troop hiring this turn because of all the money we spent, so... Yeah, you'll get there. There's 400 gold just cooking in that pot. This monument grants an aura of old protective magic. And this one of old offensive magic. Pretty handy. All right. One, 100 plus oath bound. I sure would like to have more rangers before we attempt something like that. I'm going to send... Cecilia back to hit this. And you're just going to not do anything for a moment. So Cecilia can... Yeah, Cecilia can definitely afford to take on everybody here. Even y'all. <clears throat> yeah, cool. And then, honestly, I would, I would love to fill up these two stacks. But I don't know... If we necessarily need to spend all that time standing around. What about these bandits? How tough do they look? Okay, they seem very doable now. As the army approaches, it becomes clear to the hostile troops this is a battle they cannot win. They turn and flee rather than fight. Yo, I love it when games don't make you fight trivial battles. Thank you for respecting my time as a human being. 
Uh, yeah, I'll take on nine minstrels. Minstrels can kind of fight. And you, once again, are just going to kind of stand around. <laughs> Sorry, dude. All right, 800 more gold. We got some Fey over here, although they're not my most primary concern. I mean, winning fights is... Winning fights is good money. I'm gonna run up onto this like little donut area first. So we don't have any glimmer weave now. We'll probably need some and we don't have income, so. All right, bonus movement will definitely be put to good use. This kite shield is nine defense. We really don't have a compelling one-handed weapon. Well, it's like this. I could go seven offense, nine defense. No, I think I'd rather... I would rather keep things as they are. And now there's a bunch of money left in the bank here, so... Well, I may as well just do the hiring next turn. Okay. Force is starting to come together. Could use them to clear out some Fey. Yeah, I guess let's go see about this one. It does seem like hitting manual battle is, is pretty important. The tax for doing an auto battle seems to be considerably higher than I would have expected. All right, dude's fast, no doubt about that. Uh, if I quicken up, I can get the high ground. I think that's probably pretty important. Get the nice high ground and try to just pin him here since he doesn't want to. Um... Ouch. Um. Since he won't want to like eat the attack of opportunity if he doesn't have to, right? Am I? Out I'm outside of deadly range, right? No, I'm inside. So, the benefit of running up here is somewhat limited. I mean, I still get the high ground. I'm gonna take it. So the high ground bonus that we picked up there is only twenty percent. Yeah, I shouldn't have done that. These guys are absolutely toast, like, <laughs> without question. Look at all that boiling blood. A couple of stacks of rangers will let you get through pretty much anything safely. We really need to get to two full stacks, though. All right, look at all this loot. Yeah, 3,500 gold. Hmm. As you near this stone, uh, as you near this stone-like tree, a voice fills your head. Drop an offering by my, newts, uh, by my roots to receive my knowledge. Well, you know what? We have that much glimmer thread. I'll do that. Okay, it wasn't even an amount of XP. It was just a whole level. So, like... Plus one retaliations. As cool as that sounds, I just don't think we're in a place to benefit from it that much. And I don't mind income, but I don't think this amount of income makes sense over a command space. We'll knock these ones out real fast, too. Why would you be so far forward? I don't actually think we're going to need our footmen all that much this time. Kind of inclined to just, like, hang out. Maybe position myself a little bit better so that we'll be in a position where we know the enemies are going to, uh... Are going to offer up deadly range positioning. 
Ah, you may as well take your shot now. There you go. That's how that's supposed to go. I don't think we can trust the AI to not charge our units forward into combat. So sadly, it does seem like we're going to have to uh, probably do that kind of play manually. Uh, you know what? From here, I think we can probably leave this stuff for the other guy. Speaking of whom, his turn's already done, so... Build ourselves that marketplace, and let's see what it's like. Alright, there's kind of nothing going on out here. How many more troops do you need? Still, still a fair number. What are we looking at militia-wise? Yeah. does feel like we want to spend at least a couple more turns in here. Do I want to keep my one minstrel? I mean, I guess a single min minstrel has the ability to play the song just as well as anybody. Or just as well as any number of them would. I'm going to wait two more turns. I'm going to fill up the stack of rangers, but then we'll, uh, we'll get moving with him. Hmm. Well, I do want to deal with these undead soldiers and everything, but, I mean, while we're here. Okay, big offense boost, perhaps a little on the dangerous side. Sacrifices have been made here, and they fill Cecilia's stout heart with power. Uh, I, I guess I would rather have the ten minstrels. We're, like, the money is, the money's coming along now. We're doing okay. Take this bonus movement and use it to move back toward the direction where this stuff is happening. Alright, next turn. Next turn you move out. Yeah, we can handle this now, probably-ish. Definitely want my archers standing more forward than that. Once again, like, the, the high ground's a little bit far forward for us to rush it, I think. But there definitely is part of me that wants to. Quick a couple of people. I guess this didn't need a quicken, probably. Uh, yeah, nobody else can really get close enough to us for it to be a problem. So I think I will run up. We'll get the little extra bonus here. We're firing within deadly range. All right, and they've kind of put themselves in awkward positions. Ah. The loss of two soldiers there does suck. Uh, do I want to, what do I want to do? So this is chaos. Creation is the, the fuel for the insect swarm. like do I even want to attack with the footman or is that I'm a little worried that it's too much damage like the retaliation is gonna gonna deal too much to us all right let's get a bunch of debuffs on him I wish it gave us a good sense of how much damage I was likely to take in return. I think I'm just gonna hunker down here. 
because I think the range they're going to be able to do a lot of the work. I guess you can kind of plan a flanking maneuver. Yeah, this is pretty not ideal. Um, I think we're going to lose our footmen stack. Probably pretty much no matter what we do. But I'm going to make them spend their turn on it. Yeah, you know what? I'll run up and do this. Let's provide ourselves a uh, bit of a distraction. Okay, the minstrels really showed up on counterattack there. I'm a little surprised. Okay. I have to investigate that next turn. Wood and stone and gold. What about this dead commander? He's got a, an extremely mediocre sword. Wow, currency is all we're getting for that, huh? I'd be lying if I said that was the most exciting of all possible outcomes. Alright, let's get a move on. Let's fuck some shit up. This seems extremely doable, and this is probably approximately the right setup. Unfortunately, dude did not run close enough to uh, put him put himself in deadly range. That would have been really nice. Do I just run up and absorb the retaliation? Getting rid of these guys is important, but I feel like we can maybe do it without having to sacrifice the lives of my footmen. Between the two archers, you know. Although perhaps I am hilariously wrong. Three to six damage. You know what? You can just uh, stand back and sing. I think that's fine. Oh, I should have cast spells. Well, you know, that could have been a lot worse, actually. Two friendly troops become unattackable until they attack, use an ability, or the spell duration ends. That's a pretty cool spell. Alright, let's try to just clear him. I'm going to do 10 damage to him first, just to increase the, lo the odds of this working. There we go, because we really don't want to bear that retaliation. And then you also get it. Sadly, while I'm reloading, it's not a lot I can do here. That could have gone a little worse. The, lack of, the loss of the minstrel hurts some. Oh, uh, creation spells tier three. I mean, you have some very good spell focus. All right, there's some glimmer weave income and some loot and stuff. All right, that is huge. It's very helpful. Although we're not desperate for gold all the time anymore anyway. We kind of kind of figured that out. 
Once again, I feel like we gotta go manual or else it's just gonna like mash my melee troops against the rats. Well, we're certainly not getting any big kills that way. Um, hmm. I'm going to step forward into their range a little bit. And I guess protection. Just to give the archers a safe place to stand behind. That's a lot of rats over there. Try to weaken some of these stacks first. Ah, uh, 25 to 42. That's actually a pretty impressive amount of damage. And I feel like an amount that we probably should not take for granted. The retaliation is going to be killer, but... Oh, you know, it wasn't even that bad. Okay, well, excellent work, everyone. <laughs> Honestly, I feel like arrows would not be that effective against a huge swarm of rats. It's just, it's hard to imagine, you know, getting more than one of them at a time with an arrow. A petrified tree that would like some more of our glimmer weave. Well, the good news is we're out of range. We're out of movement and we can just stop here and wait until we have it. So does that Falchion fit into... Um, it's just worse than the Sharp Sword, sadly. So they got some spirits and stuff, but they also definitely have interesting loot back there. That will certainly help. Movement and view radius, both extremely welcome. All right, we do have the resources to pay off this tree now, so I may as well just gain a level. Most of the damage we take is melee. So guard's pretty strong, but also command is command. I think I have undervalued that in the past. Uh, a band of hostile troops is guarding this bandit hideout. You know what? Let's have at them. Let's maybe like try to keep it together a little bit here, friends. And hopefully we get to go nice and high up in the initiative order. Nope. That's a shame. Okay. So, yeah, these guys go next. I don't love that. If I run over and I punch this explosive barrel, it will probably kill them and also me. I'm kind of like, <laughs> here's the thing. Two footmen isn't actually doing all that much for us. Yeah, I don't think we're, we were going to get a better outcome there. If you try to step away... Okay. One thing that I'm not clear on is, does that count as his retaliation? It does. Okay. It doesn't matter for the situation we're in right now. It's just something that's nice to know. So let's see, I can run to here and just blast you. That guy's low enough that... 
Ja. I can't directly lower your defenses. I guess I can, yeah, I can just blow up your damage. That's something. Give us time to approach. Unfortunately, the sort of uh, the structure of my army is really breaking down. Cecilia probably needs to head back to the rally point at the very least. Uh, that said, I do actually think that that um, that sacrifice explosion was probably worthwhile. I don't know what else that troop was ever going to accomplish. And thus, the urn was presented to King Aerith Emelin and Queen Ethelin Erneline as a sign of trust and peace between Fey and human. Why is there a book just laying out here? So, big scary undead monsters that away. Looks like some scary undead monsters this way too. Not totally ideal. Well, I should visit this altar, even though it's kind of out of the way. Do I want to knock out these Fey as well? I, I, I don't have to. But I guess let's do it. Just try to keep my troops in a ball so that we can defend each other. All right, that guy is in like maximum, uh, maximum deadly range for the archers and everything. I'm gonna hope that we don't have to use the footmen on him at all. Let's just help you out with a little damage. Damn it. Well, it turns out the initiative loss was enough to let the archers go before him again, so the insect swarm did get the job done. The fact that they also dropped the attackers in, or the, the target's initiative is really strong. Okay. So I care about this stuff down here, but I am thinking maybe it's time to return. I know both troops going home for, or both armies going home for troops simultaneously is a little bit of a, a little bit of a bummer, a little bit of an own goal here, planning wise. But, you know, your troops die when your troops die. I think this is maybe it's a little bit sort of like at an anticlimactic moment in the action, but I think this is where we're going to call it for today. We have. A settlement. We have a couple of uh, a couple of forces. We have some direction. Most importantly, we've got our roots down. So when you come back next time tomorrow, we will continue to clear our environs of foes slowly but surely. Definitely making sure not to get Cecilia killed again. And we'll see you then.